What's up, guys? Welcome back to Alice Homestead. Uh, we gotta go outside, but we're gonna have to walk through the snow drift here. So, I walk right out the door and into this gigantic snow drift. I don't want too much of that. I don't want any of that to get in the door to prevent it from closing. So, I'm gonna close the door right there before any of that blows in there. Thanks for watching today, guys. Um, as you can see here, I gotta get out to the chicken tractor, let the chickens out. Maybe shovel, get a trail shovel, because this trail is getting worn down pretty dang fast. Or, it's getting filled up with snow pretty dang fast. So I'm just kind of picking my, my way out here to the chicken tractor. Trying to guess where the trail was. Again, we had so much snow, we probably got 8 inches, 8, 10 inches of it. I can't even hardly tell where the trail was. And I just found the water right down in the snow there by my foot. That got filled up with snow pretty good too. Let's brush off the track. Oh, this is the door. Get that brushed off. And I'll brush off the front side at least. Get them some more daylight in there. And I'm just gonna shovel this chicken yard down here try to get down to the straw in a little bit so I'll shovel that in a little bit after I let birds out. Yeah. See if we can get them out of there. There they are inside the tractor. You can see that wall is just full of snow on the back side there. Hey guys, um, not really any snow down here on this sheet of plastic. A little bit of snow right there. Like I said, that's the back wall of the tractor. That's all greenhouse plastic. Now let's try to get the snow off of it. And if you're wondering about the area behind the tractor, I do shovel this out once I get this brushed off. Um, I don't think you've seen me do it in any videos, but I just try to shovel it out of here so we don't get too much weight building up against the plastic towards the bottom. That would not be good to have the plastic burst on this. Try to get here and fix that up in the winter. That would be one nightmare. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. Okay, we're around here to the front side. Get the top of the tractor wiped off. You guys, it snowed literally the whole night here. Look at how deep that snow is starting to get here. It's just building up here in Wisconsin. Comment down below, did you guys get any of this winter storm that I know has been affecting a lot of the country? Um, I know Michigan, I think, got some of it. I know in Kansas, Nebraska, they got some ice um, a day or two ago. Um, up here in the northern parts, northern parts of the country, we're getting a lot of snow up here. So comment down below, guys. Let me know how much snow or ice or whatever's happened. Let me know what you're getting um, near you. So yeah, it's it's really snowing out here, you guys. Um, the trail is not anywhere to be found leading up to the house. It's just a blind mess. I'm guessing that the trail to the gazebo starts right about here, you guys. So um, I don't think. Check the chickens' feeder here. Okay, so yeah, they still have a little bit of feed in their feeder, so they're fine. Okay, let's get this water taken care of here. Normally, I dump it right about there. And um, if I had a lot more chickens, I would probably consider going just with like a, a heated water of some sort, whether it be a heated dog bowl or just a Premier One poultry water, but that's what we're going with. And it works for now because it's just one of those rubber dishes you can stomp out the ice every day. Okay, you guys, let's go get the chickens some water. So I think the trail somewhere along here and when we get a lot of snow we get a lot of snow in here too which is kind of a pain with our feed we're gonna need access to that later today that's what we're looking for okay so guys um we're here on the push 200 subscribers thank you for or thanks to all of you for watching for commenting for liking for sharing doing all that stuff I think we're at about 175, 175 subscribers right now. 
So we're gonna be hitting 200 pretty soon. I think I'm gonna do a giveaway once I hit 250 subscribers. So stick around, stick around for that. Don't un unsubscribe, keep watching the videos. You don't wanna miss that. When I hit 250 subscribers, I probably most likely will be doing a giveaway. Okay, so we're back here in the giant snowbank again. Let's see, we can do now that we're inside. Good news, guys, got the water, fill it up. So let's head outside, give the chickens their water. This snow, you guys, by the back door, it's just nasty. I need to get that shoveled in a little bit. Maybe I'll put that in the video. Holy cow, you guys, this is, this has just been such a weird winter, but I feel like that's the story of every winter in Wisconsin. Ready for some water birdies? If you guys are wondering why I don't just get off my lazy duff and put the chicken's water inside, well, it's not because I'm lazy, it's because I'm trying to avoid scraping chicken poop and straw out of the water every day. Well, they, they will fill that water up with chicken poop and straw by noon if I put it in their chicken tractor. And then, um, if I put it outside, it makes them have to go outside every day to get their water so they get fresh air. Um, if, they put it, if I put it inside, I don't want them to get too lazy. Also, their water would become have chicken poop in it, it would have straw in it, it would basically be undrinkable. I don't like doing that. And then if I do have to leave for a day or two, I do put the I do put a big board inside and I set the water on it to keep um so to keep uh, most of the straw out of the water but even then they still kick a lot in there and it still gets filled up with that. So that's why I leave it outside. It stays almost one hundred percent clean that way. Excuse me there. And then there's no um just chicken manure in their water. So I'm um, push 200 subscribers. It's real, guys. I think we'll be hitting the hitting 200 subscribers any day. I noticed a lot of new subscribers have been coming in recently, thanks to you guys. If you're watching, well, it really means a lot to me to get all those new subscribers all the time. So thanks, guys. That's awesome. There's a chicken sitting in the nesting box. That is great because we've only been getting two or three eggs a day, sometimes only one egg per day. So you guys probably already know this, but chickens don't like snow, so I'm just gonna have to start shoveling out their um, chicken yard area here. about the snow is that it had to get a little warmer for it to snow out here um as you can see like i was talking about the chicken water earlier getting the straw in there this is what came out of it one day but the good thing about the snow is that it had to warm up a little bit snow because the last few days have been pretty darn cold it's definitely a lot warmer out here today if you're afraid of having a mess on your homestead Don't bother getting chickens. They're not gonna make it. They're they're not gonna or they're not gonna they're not gonna clean up your homestead. That's for sure. Cackle wanted to say hi, guys. Everybody say hi to Cackle. She's not on a she's not on one of our T-shirts yet. If you haven't already, go check out our Teespring store. Link in the description down below. And if you do check out our Teespring store, be sure to check out um, a T-shirt. Just like this Henrietta one right here, um, you can buy one. I think it's like $14.99 for the Henrietta ones and then a little bit more for the other ones. Um, we do have some blackie t-shirts too, Henrietta mugs, 
Also, Al's Homestead mugs and Al's Homestead shirts. I'm going to show you guys some of the Al's Homestead mugs that we just got in the mail like yesterday. And um, I got a green one. I think there's a, there's a red one too. And there's also a blue color option. So if you really like watching Al's Homestead, go check out the Teespring gear. And um, chicken keeping tip. If you got chickens and you want them to be friendly, um, spend a lot of time with them. So um, they're going to be, these chickens are a lot calmer than just your average chicken because I spent, um, or we spent a lot of time with them since they were baby chicks. Since the day we got them from the hatchery, we probably held them almost every single day except for when we've been like on vacation or somewhere else. So they're really friendly, um, especially Henrietta. And that's because we hung out them, hung out with them. If you've ever been to a farm that has chickens, like a little hobby farm that has chickens, you probably notice that they're pretty wild. They don't like being picked up. They'll run away from you and do everything they can to er, prevent being caught. And that right there is Henrietta. What's up? Here's just a quick little lettuce update. It's been about four weeks since I started this. Just about four and a half weeks now. Um, it's really doing terrific. It's the Red Sails Leaf Lettuce Variety from In My Gardener. Um, to give you a look at the tr true color, the grow light filters out the true color a little bit. Um, that'll help. Um, let's see if the camera will focus a little bit better. That's kind of more of the true color. It's turning more and more red. Um, there's a good look at the color. But it's just done terrific in the four weeks that it's been growing. I've never seen any lettuce grow this fast. It's going to be delicious. I think I'm going to be doing a harvest video on that very, very soon. Also, I promised you guys that I would show you the Alice Homestead mug. There it is. That's not a very here. I'll put it down here in the better light where you guys can get a better look at it. I got a little bit of water in there, actually. Uh, maybe that that's, a, that's still not the right color there. That's a good look at the real color it is right there. You can order that on the Teespring store. Um, again, if you're like a super fan of the show. But that's... Well, that's the Alice Homestead mug. There's other colors too. There's red, there's blue. Um, so, yeah. Guys, um, thanks for watching Alice Homestead. If you're new to the channel, haven't subscribed already, please go down and subscribe. Also, hit thumbs up on the video and comment down below, guys. Um, and I'll see you right back here at Alice Homestead in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, this is Al. See you in the next video.